Hey everyone, welcome back to the Rift Sphere channel. In this video, we will be configuring Recycler, a powerful tool that automates the updating of quality profiles and custom formats in our sonar and radar instances based on Trash Guide's recommendations. Let's get started. First, make sure you have access to the app data share. In Unraid, go to the Shares tab. Select App Data and set the Export option under the SMB header to Yes. Save the settings. Now, navigate to the App Data Share and open the Recycler folder. Inside, you'll find the Recycler.yaml file. Open it using a text editor like Notepad or Notepad++. The following steps are long and even complex, and will show you how to create your own file. However, I will also provide a link to the completed YAML file, matching the setup done in this series. All you have to do is set the correct API keys. Recycler has already created entries for sonar and radar instances. Since we want to use the configurations from the Recycler wiki, we can remove the default entries. Go to the Recycler wiki and find the configuration for the Sonar 1080p profile in our first Sonar instance. Copy the entire configuration. Next, go back to the Recycler.yaml file and paste the copied configuration. The first mention of Sonar is simply to indicate that we are configuring a Sonar instance. The second mention is the name of our specific instance. Set it to Sonar 1080p. Since Sonar and Recycler are on the same custom network, we can set the URL to http slash slash sonar followed by the port number, which is 8989 for this instance. Remember, you can find the API key for Sonar in flat notes. Now, let's move on to adding our 4K Sonar instance to Recycler. Look up the 4K definition that you used before on the Recycler wiki. Copy the entire configuration of the 4K definition. Go to the Recycler.yaml file and make sure you are on a new line without any spaces. Paste the copied 4K configuration into the config file. Since we have already specified that we are configuring a Sonar instance, we can remove the first mention of Sonar. Update the name of the instance to something like Sonar 4K to differentiate it from other instances. Set the URL for the 4K instance to Sonar 4K and make sure to use the correct port that you have configured for this instance. Retrieve the API key for the 4K instance from flat notes and add it in the configuration. We will repeat these steps to configure our Sonar Anime. Look up the definition for Sonar Anime on the Recycler wiki and copy it. Go back to the Recycler.yaml file and paste the copied configuration on a new line in the file, ensuring there are no extra spaces. Since Recycler already recognizes that we are configuring Sonar instances, you can remove the first reference to Sonar in the pasted configuration. Set the name to Sonar Anime. Next, set the URL for the Sonar Anime instance. Use Sonar Anime, followed by the correct port number you have configured for this particular instance. To complete the configuration, retrieve the API key for the Sonar Anime instance from flat notes and add it in the config. Now, let's move on to the radar configuration. Find the configuration we use for our first radar instance on the Recycler wiki. Copy it and paste it on a new line in our Recycler.yaml file. Within the pasted configuration, the first mention of radar indicates that we are configuring a radar setup. The next line serves as the name for our instance. Set the URL for this radar instance to radar, followed by the configured port. Retrieve the API key from flat notes. Now, let's proceed with configuring our 4K instance in Recycler. Refer to the Recycler wiki and locate the correct definitions for the 4K instance. Copy these definitions and paste them into the Recycler.yaml config file. Since Recycler already recognizes that we are configuring radar instances, we can remove the first mention of radar from the pasted definitions. 
rename the second mention to radar 4k to differentiate it from our other radar instances. Set the URL for the radar 4k instance to radar 4k, followed by the appropriate port that you have configured for this instance. Retrieve the API key for this instance from flat notes. Finally, let's add our radar anime instance. Similar to the previous steps. Copy the definitions for the anime instance from the Recycler wiki and paste them into the recycler.yaml config file. Remove the first line mentioning radar and set the name to radar anime. Set the URL to radar anime followed by the appropriate port. Retrieve the API key from flat notes and enter it in the config file. After making these adjustments, Save the recycler.yaml file to finalize the configuration. Once we have completed the configuration for recycler and our sonar and radar instances, it's important to run the initial sync to ensure everything is working correctly. Here's how you can do it. In the Unraid interface, navigate to the Docker tab and find recycler. Open the console for recycler and enter the command recycler sync. This command will initiate the synchronization process and log all the actions being performed. Monitor the console output for any errors or warnings. If you encounter any issues, double check that your sonar and radar instances are running. And verify that the URL and API keys are correctly configured in the recycler.yaml file. Now, let's dive into the investigation. Our starting point is sonar with a particular focus on our sonar anime instance. Exploring the custom format section within the settings reveals several notable additions. In the quality segment, the preferred sizes have undergone changes. Checking out our profile, we notice that upgrades are enabled, and both a minimum score for downloads and a target score for upgrades are set. The custom formats are used to calculate these scores. What's more, all qualities from SDTV to Blu-ray 1080p are configured with a preference for 1080p. This aligns perfectly with our intended setup. Now, let's move on to our standard sonar setup. We're encountering a familiar scenario. Custom formats have been incorporated, and the quality figures have been fine-tuned. Additionally, our profile is configured for upgrades. However, there's a slight hiccup with the profile I've chosen. It currently selects only one quality. Given that not all series are available in high-quality formats, particularly older ones, it's imperative that we cast a more comprehensive net in our quality selection. We'll need to delve deeper into this matter. Back to the Recycler Wiki we go, seeking a solution. Checking our profile. We find a link to GitHub, so let's explore it. On the GitHub page, we discover an exact copy of our template, complete with an include section. Furthermore, there's an include folder under Sonar, so we'll navigate there. Given that our profile-related issue needs attention, we'll investigate the subfolder quality profiles for potential solutions. As anticipated, we locate a file that matches the 1080p profile we've used. Let's examine it. Unfortunately, only the web 1080p profiles are selected. Remember how our anime instance covered a range from SDTV to 1080p? We'll check that profile as well. Bingo! Our next step is to copy this configuration and integrate it into our Sonar 1080p setup. Right after the API key, we must ensure that the indentations are accurate. YAML employs two spaces instead of tabs. With this step completed, we need to fix the configuration. First, change the profile name to align with our desired settings. Given our focus on qualities, we can remove the reset unmatched scores and upgrade definitions. Now, We'll check Sonar to figure out the existing quality groups and their contained qualities. Let's edit the list within our recycler.yaml file to match these. After saving these modifications, 
we'll execute the recycler sync command to observe the results. If all goes well, our Sonar 1080p setup will have all the desired qualities enabled. We see the same changes made in our Sonar 4K instance, as well as missing qualities. Unfortunately, we lack another editable profile, so our solution is to duplicate the base and make the necessary modifications. On GitHub, we find a 4K profile. Copy everything from this profile and paste it into a recycler.yaml file within the Sonar 4K section. This should be placed right after the API key. Ensure the correct indentations. If necessary, adjust the name to match your selected profile. Although it should already align with the one I used. As before, remove the reset unmatched scores and upgrade definitions. Next, open our Sonar 4K instance and replicate the 4K qualities in our recycler.yaml file. A useful tip. When you click edit groups you can conveniently copy the names. Save the file and execute the recycler sync command to witness the result. Perfect. Now, let's turn our attention to our radar instances. Similar to our sonar setup, we'll start with our radar anime instance. Here, we observe the inclusion of custom formats and adjustments made to the quality settings. Upon reviewing our profile, we find that the upgrade settings are configured correctly, and all the desired qualities from SDTV to 1080p are selected, aligning perfectly with our preferences. Now, turning our focus to the 1080p radar instance, we encounter a familiar challenges with sonar. Only three qualities are selected, limiting the ability to find older movies. To rectify this, we return to the Recycler wiki and navigate to our configuration on GitHub. As before, in the Includes folder, within the Quality Profile section, we find a file matching our profile. This file contains only three qualities. Similar to our previous actions, we copy the content from the Animate profile and paste it into our Recycler.yaml file within the Radar 1080p section just after the API key. We adjust the indentation, replace the profile name, remove reset unmatched scores and upgrade definitions, and customize the profile groups as necessary. Since we didn't pick a Remux profile, I will remove this, but you can keep it in place. As a bonus, we can explore the custom formats folder for audio formats and include those. After saving the configuration, running the recycler sync command reveals that all desired qualities are selected, and the scoring system now incorporates audio formats. Finally, let's address our Radar 4K instance. Within our profile, we observe that only two qualities are selected. Not having the Remux quality is expected since we didn't choose the Remux profile but we want to include the HDTV quality. To achieve this, head back to the Recycler wiki and navigate to our profile on GitHub. From the Quality Profiles folder within the Include section, open our 4K profile and copy its content. Paste this into the Radar 4K section of our Recycler.yaml file, right after the API key. Ensure the indentations are correct, and if necessary, change the name. Remove reset unmatched scores and upgrade definitions, and add the desired qualities. While the 4K profile already includes audio formats, they are disabled. Let's enable them. We should also tell Recycler to apply them to our profile. Once you've saved the config, run the Recycler sync command again to confirm that all wanted qualities are enabled and that audio is included in the scoring. With our Recycler.yaml file now complete and confirmed to function without errors, Recycler will continue its automatic updates and management of your sonar and radar instances on a daily basis. This seamless process ensures that your libraries and custom formats remain up to date without requiring manual intervention. Finally, return to the Shares tab in Unraid, 
Click on the app data share and set the export option under the SMB header to no and save the change. Also enable the auto start option on the dockers tab. Congratulations. The configuration for recycler is now complete. Our sonar and radar instances are optimized to fetch the best quality files. And recycler will automatically handle future changes. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more content.